Our first person to present is going to be Kuga, who will talk about how to research your options and really what some of these systems in California are for higher education. I'm Kuka Acosta. I'm the Associate Director for Admission at the University of California, Santa Barbara. What you're going to find is that I'm not talking about one specific campus today. I am going to be talking about your options in California. So the next slide hopefully will showcase that for you. You're going to find that the state of California is a state with vast options and opportunities. We did create a master plan that allowed us to have essentially four different types of colleges and universities um, within the state. So we call these systems. There are four major systems, including community colleges, um, our California state universities, often referred to as CSUs, the University of California, and often referred to as UCs, as well as private schools and colleges. There are over 200 colleges and universities. So let's learn a little bit about each system as research has started. So on the next slide, you're gonna find the University of California. You see, you've probably heard of some of these as they are some of the top application um, destinations for international students. From this particular list, you're gonna see on the slide, nine University of California campuses. Be aware that these are the undergraduate focused campuses UC San Francisco is missing from the map because that is primarily um, graduate programs. The University of California has one common UC application. On the next slide, you'll see some of our fun mission and requirements. So we offer four-year bachelor's degrees or undergraduate programs. Um, that's the important part about today, but the University of California also offers postgraduate programs. You're going to find that our niche in the, in the state of California is teaching theory and practicing research. Ah, what is that? Well, we ask a lot of questions. Who, what, where, when, why, and how in the hundreds of majors that we offer from dance to engineering, it's theory and research. All the UC campuses have housing options. You'll find that because the state of California is going to be hard to commute from, um, if you're coming from Spain or if you're coming from Argentina or anywhere else, you'll find that the University of California varies in size. Our smallest campus has about 8,000 students. Our largest campuses have about 40,000 students. What's important is the requirements for admission. So on the next slide, what you're going to see is the opportunity for you to look at what you need. Um, the University of California application will require you to complete what are known as our A through G requirements. I'll show them to you in a second. We, in the application, will ask you to self-report your coursework from your um, high school years based off of your high school curriculum. If your school is on a zero to um, 10 scale, if it's on a zero to 100, or if it's on an ABCDF scale, you will share that with us. We will then ask for your grades and calculate your GPA. Um, we do require the SAT with the essay or an ACT with writing to be completed in the time frame that you're a high school student, no later than December of your senior year. And we do require a TOEFL or an IELTS exam if your language of instruction is not English. So on the next slide, I wanna show you those A through G requirements, math, history, English, science, art, sound familiar? Yes, because they're the classes you're probably taking to graduate from high school. Be aware that in your curriculum, if it's that I'm taking coursework and there is no US history at my high school because I'm in Spain, why would there be? Note that we'll make requirements that will switch based off of your country. So we would require history or social science or civics of your country. So a lot of this can be modified for an international student. We have requirements which you have to complete and then there are recommendations based off of your intended major. A big one for us is that we do require these for all students, international and domestic. And the biggest one that causes questions is that visual and performing arts. So note that it's there for you. Next slide. Um, we do a comprehensive review, which means we look at grades and test scores and also what you do outside of the classroom. All UC campuses will look at extracurriculars, they'll look at your, your language, your culture, and everything else. So, 
it's a really comprehensive process, which is slightly different from the other type of California schools that we're talking about. Um, so the California State University or CSU system has 23 campuses, wow, as far north as Humboldt, as far south as San Diego. So when you're looking at the map of California, these 23 campuses are going to also be quite diverse when it comes to locations. There are almost um, half a million students enrolled in the 23 campuses. The next slide will showcase for you the difference between a UC and a CSU, and that is, again, still four-year universities, still offering bachelor's degree programs. The big difference here is the applied learning concept. So a lot of students will find um, that there are internships that are sort of woven into the curriculum, that it's a learn by doing. Um, so it's a really great concept for those of you who want to practice what you're preaching. Also, housing options are available on the majority of the university um, campuses. Um, and here, their application for CSU, be aware, is also a shared application, which ah, conveniently opened today. So if you wanted to apply, you would be able to do so. The application does allow you to go through April 1st for international students. Um, it's a great option and opportunity for you. The requirements for admission, great practice is to also follow those A through G requirements, but there's a lot of opportunity for international students to realize that the curriculum of your country will be established to really look at the strength of your academics. It's at 2.5, I'm gonna say this again, 2.5 minimum GPA for international students. And while a TOEFL is going to be asked of you, the CSU system will allow you to verify that with an SAT exam, an AP exam, an IB exam, so many different things. On the next slide, what you're going to find is that our private colleges or universities are hard to categorize. Um, so the California privates, if you're thinking of big names, let me throw some at you. The University of Southern California, USC, maybe small schools like Westmont. Um, for private colleges or universities, there are more themes within these. Um, I might be looking for a small school that has a religious base to it. Private schools in California would have that opportunity, and Westmont is an example of that, where faith is part of the curriculum, even if that is not my faith. So I don't have to have that religious component in order to apply, but it will be part of my curriculum to graduate. Maybe you're looking at a liberal arts school, a school where there's a foundation of interdisciplinary work. Or maybe you're looking at a large research school, but it's a private school. So what you're going to find is that while I can give you really great information about admissions in a system format, like a University of California or a CSU, when it comes to private colleges, the admissions component will vary greatly. There will be a lot of difference and a lot of opportunity for you. Um, the best place to start, though, would be looking at the website down on the bottom left-hand side, AICCU. Um, that is where the, oh, oh, there's a box that just appeared. Um, that is where you're going to find the list of about 75 different private universities and colleges in California. You'll also find links to their websites for their application process. Their applications are vast as well. Some of them will open now in October. Some of them are rolling admissions through June and July. So just be aware that there are lots of differences in the admissions process here. All right, we talked about three systems, UC, CSU, and privates. That means there's one more left. That is the California Community College System. Oh, that map of California just got smaller and the type even smaller. That's because there's 114 California community colleges. Wow. So for the California community college system, you're going to find that these 114 California community colleges are vast. And the number of students enrolled, it's in the millions. Why? And because this particular system is built to help students really find themselves in a starting point. So what you're going to see is that if you go to the next slide, um, you'll find that these are two-year schools that can offer associate's degrees, certificates, um, they can offer continuing learning programs, or they can offer programs that start your bachelor's degree. So students would start at a community college and then transfer to a four-year university. 
these programs mean that they start their first two years with us and move on. That's a different session, so I'll just say this. For the California Community College system, there are rolling admissions processes. Again, bottom left-hand side, you'll see the web URL that will allow you to look at the 100 plus community colleges available to you. You'll find that these rolling admissions allow you to come in during a fall, winter, sometimes a winter, not all of us offer winter, um, as well as spring term. Students are able to find themselves discovering different programs and majors or finding themselves starting off on a college certificate program. What we're going to talk about next is kind of researching your options. So Huga did a great job in telling us about the four different systems that exist in the California higher education world. Um, and so Stephen is going to go a little bit more into, you know, if you want to research your options with that California Community Colleges plus going into a four-year institution. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, in the United States, an undergraduate degree is a four-year degree. Okay, so you do have the option to do your first two years in a community college and then transfer. Um, your first two years are general education, and then your next two years, you're going to focus on your concentration or your major classes. Okay, so Stephen, I'm handing it over to you um, whenever you're ready. Great. All right. Thanks, Kuka, for the, the handover there, too. So I'll just like Kuka mentioned, I'll also uh, focus on options within California. On uh, my first slide, the, the second slide, actually, uh, goes over some of the advantages of the community college system. Uh, number one that I like to highlight is that the admissions are less strict. Uh, two examples of this, if there's generally no a ACT or SAT required for most programs. Uh, secondly, there is a lower English language proficiency score. So for example, in California, the average TOEFL score for admissions is approximately 52 on the IBT. A second advantage is lower tuition. Most community colleges cost under 10,000 US dollars per academic year. Uh, third, classes are taught by professors. Uh, professors are hired to teach, not teach and research. Uh, so students never have a graduate student teaching a course. With, with regard to class size, the average class size at many community colleges is about 25 to 30. And this is noteworthy given that most of these courses are general education courses and sometimes at four-year institutions, these can exceed 100, 200 students. And then lastly, uh, for example, there is less than a 10% acceptance rate to some uh, University of California institutions from high school applicants abroad. In contrast, over 25% uh, of community college transfer applicants may be admitted, so higher acceptance rates uh, in general. Next slide. Unfortunately, there's not much awareness outside the U.S. about these advantages. Uh, so this slide slows uh, five widespread misunderstandings about community colleges. In relation to the first two advantages covered uh, and possibly due to understanding of community colleges vocational or technical, there is a false perception that the lower costs and easier admission means that the quality of students is lower than at four-year institutions, but there's no data to support that. Uh, also, community colleges are part of an annual or not part of annual world rankings of universities, so they therefore not may not be viewed as quite as prestigious. And two other common misconceptions are of community colleges as commuter schools, where students just travel to take classes and they don't offer much of a campus-like environment. You will find that in California, for instance, many community colleges offer student organizations, many student organizations that are very popular with international students, and participation, as Cook referred to, in terms of the extracurricular participation in these is really helpful because students don't just make friendship, but they also develop leadership skills, intercultural teamwork skills, as well as budgeting expertise. Also, there's a range of services for international students, for the admissions to immigration advising, to on and off campus employment guidance, to transfer and career services. And then finally, uh, there's a false notion that students who complete their studies at community colleges will have limited academic and professional choices afterwards. And then my next two slides address uh, this incorrect. So for every degree level and even for certificate in the US higher education system, uh, international students on F visas have the right to apply for one year or, or more in the case of STEM. 
a full-time off-campus work authorization in a field that's related to their academic program of study. Uh, and this is called optional practical training or OPT. And then uh, for community college, students are eligible to apply after they completed one academic year, but it's more common for students to wait after they finish their associate degree and they can work off campus for a year. In terms of uh, second option, transfer statistics to four institutions, where do California community college students transfer? Well, 17% go to the University of California system, 58% go to the California State University system, 9% transfer to private schools in California, and 16% transfer out of state. And then the other three bullet points really show that California community colleges are our common academic path to four-year institutions in California. And then this slide that you're looking at now, we'll look at two examples of transfer agreements in California. So one really great thing about the state is that California incentivizes high quality students to transfer from the California community colleges to the CSU, UC, and also private uh, system. I just wanna focus on two transfer paths to really exemplify this. Uh, one is called the Associate Degree for Transfer, also known as a degree with a guarantee. Uh, there are a lot of details, but just to kind of go over the, the main points. Uh, students at community colleges complete 60 semester or 90 quarter units and one of 36 majors. And depending on their GPA, they can get offered admission into the 23 institution California State University system as a junior to complete their bachelor's degrees. Um, this actually also includes private colleges and universities, both inside and out California. Um, and each, each university's guarantee is different in their requirements. So for example, at a CSU, students may be guaranteed admission to a similar major, but not necessarily a campus. Uh, and at historically black colleges and universities and other private universities, students are guaranteed admission to the school they want to apply to or the major they want to pursue. The second example of a transfer agreement uh, is a transfer agreement guarantee known as a, as a TAG. Now on this map, you'll see six stars. So students at community colleges must complete the required 60 semester, semester units at a community college. Uh, some majors require slightly higher requirements and they get priority admission to six of the University of California schools, UC Davis, UC Merced, UC Santa Cruz, UC Santa Barbara, UC Riverside, or UC Irvine. UC San Diego, UCLA, and UC Berkeley do not offer the tag. Uh, and there's only one tag application that can be used, so it's like a, a magic ticket. Uh, for both programs, GPA and major requirements vary, but a key point I'd like to underscore is that students have great options to transfer. Next slide. So student success is really the focus of community, California Community College, and these, they offer offices dedicated to help students, uh, for example, transferring. So a key point I'd like to mention is that students are not alone in the process. So five examples of on-campus resources for community college students. Number one is a student education plan. This is like a required roadmap of your academic coursework for two years, and it keeps students on the path to reaching their educational goals. Uh, community colleges also have counseling offices where counselors work one-on-one -on -one with students in helping them create their plan. They can also help them tra understand transfer options for each major. In addition to a college's international student office and counseling center, the, the transfer center offers annual year-round workshops and also has the most up-to-date information about the transfer process. A uh, fourth resource on campus are the transfer day events in which representatives from four institutions visit community college, which is a great opportunity for students. And some colleges off, also offer tours to visit the actual campuses. And then fifth, faculty are a great resource to provide insight, insight into best fit programs. Uh, these are really kind of uh, a list of resources, websites for, for you to check out. The first one is an online student transfer system that shows how course credits earned at a California college can transfer to, an, to another uh, university in California. The second one, you can look at admission statistics among high school applicants, for example, and compare that with those from community colleges to the UC system. The fourth site has arguably the most comprehensive information about transfer. And then the 
fourth, sorry, the fourth, number four and five offer information about transfer agreements that I've mentioned before. Next slide. So the next slide goes to suggestions. I really have three for those of you who are considering a California community college. So in addition to participating actively in class, take advantage of the professor's office hours to ask questions about course content. And together my point about faculty as a resource, uh, your positive relations really help a lot. Um, likewise, communicate regularly with camp college offices. And then finally, uh, is to speak with your college transfer center to learn about any additional agreements or partnerships your community college might have. So on this note, I'm going to hand it over to my colleague, Denise, who will speak about a partnership between our colleges and UC Davis. Thank you, Stephen. D Destination Davis is just one example of the kind of partnership that Stephen just alluded to. With this particular partnership, uh, we make access just smooth and seamless for students. With Destination Davis, uh, students start in uh, English language programs, intensive English language with a focus on strategies and skills for academic excellence at uh, college or university. Uh, and then students will uh, transfer to a community college partner, for example, uh, one of the colleges of Contra Costa. And after two years of uh, excellent academic work, uh, then through the TAG agreement, as Stephen just described, students uh, transfer to UC Davis or to another UC under the TAG agreement and complete their degree. So students ultimately graduate with a bachelor's degree from the University of California or from another uh, a type of university, such as the California State University, but they don't have to meet the UC or CSU freshman application requirements, whether academic or uh, SAT or ACT exam scores or language requirements. So in this way, students are able to take advantage of um, the lower tuition prices at the two-year colleges, um, and yet they're able to graduate um, from a University of California. So Destination Davis is just one example of this kind of partnership uh, that allows students to get into the door, which is really the first aim uh, in students getting their bachelor's degree from a University of California, such as that of Data Davis. If you'd like to learn more, then you can see that there's a hyperlink here on this particular uh, slide, and um, and we'd be we'd be happy to share more information with you. Thank you. <laughs>